so I'll need to look up how to do that. Um, this is the pure script compiler repo. And as far as I understand, I need to enable profiling when I build it so that I can then use the profiled build and get um, and get runtime and yeah, get, get profiling information, let's say that. So I'll probably need my browser to look things up and I'll need Emacs to write code. So let us see. Probably not going to need any of this. Okay. So let us see. Uh, we want profiling. Does that give us anything? There was a fair whale. That didn't work out. Maybe we can find something here. Um, flags. Oh, that didn't look good. Maybe there's debug. Is there something about debugging? In here, I'll Google that. I guess stack profiling. Okay, so that looks. All right. Enable profiling. So let's look at this one. The minus minus dash dash profile. Okay, flag. Turn on the enable library. Enable executable profiling. And pass us the RTS minus p runtime to any test suits and benchmarks. For example, the following command will build the MyTest test suite with profiling options and create a MyTest sub profile in the current directory as a result of the test run. So, okay, I suppose we can just. Um, stack build. Minus minus profile. I guess I could just install and that's gonna dash dash profile. It's gonna put the profiled binaries into my oh my lord. Into my global um, binary space. But I need to rebuild the entire thing which is gonna take about twenty minutes I suppose. Uh, so let's try to set up the benchmark, I guess. Just need to check that this is still working. So it seems to be working. Okay. Hmm. Is this working? my channel okay so let's try to I'll just put that one out there
Okay, so let's see how that works. So, this is still building and it's going to build for a while. So, what we're going to do instead, so we're going to create a new folder. And we're going to call that benchmarks. And what are we going to do in here? What we want is a couple of projects, and then we want a script that builds these one by one. So let us see, we want to create, we probably want to clone a bunch of repos, I suppose. Yeah, I think we want to do that. So let's do that. <coughs> uh, get clone. Maybe I've got a few in here. Okay, so that's Slam Data. We want that. We also want to clone Halogen, which is like uh, the biggest UI library. Let's see, maybe maybe the chat is working actually. Let's just look at that for a second. So YouTube. How does that work? I go to here. And now, if I go to live streaming, that should be a chat. Right. I don't want to do that. I could pop that out into a new window. Like that. Well, yeah, now I need to. Actually, let's try to put that in here. Does that work? Let's see what happens. Is that actually a thing? Yeah, it looks like it. I'll just put that in here so you can. So, in case someone writes to me, I can see it. Okay. Or maybe I could even use the dashboard thingy. Maybe I could just open that. Let's see. Now I can do live streaming. Does that work? Oh, it's a little small though. Okay, we don't want that. Mm, not so sure. Could put that up here. Maybe that's how that works. Maybe that works. I think that's that's fine. Okay, so uh, that's gonna take a while apparently. Uh, we're going to need another terminal in that case. Um, bench marks, there we go, and then we're going to get clone. That was slam data, I think we also got halogen here. That's going to be a little easier. Okay. Um, I also wanted to clone pulp, I think. Uh, pulp. That's not how that works. Uh, yep. Clone pulp. Is there anything like that? Doesn't seem like that. Okay. Let's just not do that in that case. Let's rather search for PCID. Um, get clone PCID. I'm just gonna look 
for any repo, that's fine. Okay, now I can just clone that. And that's gonna work out. Okay. Don't need that anymore. That one's still installing. Um, let's try to write a little script um, that runs these benchmarks for us. Okay, so we're gonna write a file bench. Mode. Is there a bash mode? So you want SH mode in that case. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so what are we going to do? We are going to. Maybe I should have written this in. Never mind. Okay, so we're going to push D. to start with let's say PCID I suppose and yeah we're gonna pop the out of there and when we're inside PCID we're going to do power install and then we're gonna do pull, uh, npm run build things uh, let's actually run PSC with the uh, correct globs, which is source slash slash dot pures. And then we kind of do the same thing again, except this time we prepend power underscore components slash pure script dash star like that. And then we want to wrap these in what are these one called? I uh, want to make sure that they count as a single string. Um, okay, and then we need to pass that dash RTS P. Is that it? Oh, sorry, it's down here. So we need to do plus rts dash p so plus, R, plus rts dash p and then we get a prof file hopefully okay so let's see how that's going we're almost done compiling here and hopefully we can just copy that a bunch of time for the other projects like that. But we probably don't want to do these yet. Okay. So how's this gun? We're still cloning. It's a little big. That repository. Doesn't matter. Actually, is anyone watching this? Is anyone joining now? Apparently not. Whatever. <sighs> Damn my backers. Okay. Can I actually do anything like?
When building using profiling, when some of your libraries are not part of the snapshot you're using, they are rebuilt every time you switch from profiling back to no profiling and the other way around. Okay, I'm going to stay with profiling then. slowly getting there. How much time did I waste? Okay, so I sp I'm already spending about 50 minutes compiling the compiler. These build times are killing me. <laughs> that sounds like a fun thing to do, actually. That does sound very interesting, doesn't it? Oh man, I'd love to see. I'd love to see more about that stuff. Some pretty pretty damn good people working there apparently. That sounds very interesting indeed. Was Clash in? Oh yeah, Clash was the thing that actually compiles to the HDL code. Kind of awesome. Okay, so still building stuff and downloading stuff. God, come on! Why is your repo two hundred megabytes? See what's going on here. Okay, so these are closed. See what we got here. Profiling. Note that multiprocessor execution is not supported while profiling. That's a little sad because I'd like to do that.
<laughs> Not sure if it is. I've been sitting here and compiling for about 50 minutes now. Or downloading the Slam Data repo, which is apparently around 300 megabytes. Mm. Probably me. How far am I behind, by the way? Is there, like how much how much delay are you seeing? That would be nice to know. Come on! Don't be serious right now. I'll just power install. Already, so I can power install here. Okay, so now... Okay, so it looks like it's a bit... Well, the worst part is compiling with profiling. need to make sure I update these. Oh my god. I really need to update these dependencies apparently. Okay. So what I could do is I could just run full build for one and see if it works already. If it compiles at least, that is. Well, this thing is going on. <laughs> yeah, and the slam data repo apparently is actually 300 megabytes. No, I'm not going to do that. Why would I shame him? No point. Okay, so that seems to work. So let's just make sure we remove the output again. Anything that looks like a cache. So there are benchmark builds that are not screwed. Let's go into the halogen folder next and do a power install here as well. getting close. There's three more. For which one is the BS group compiler which takes about five minutes by itself. Oh god. There we go, now we're working on compiling pure script. Oh my god, that takes forever. <laughs> Maybe we made some progress with the downloads. 
Still not really. What am I supposed to do? It's just boring, I'm sorry. I'd like to do something fun for you, but compile options. Okay, so let's see, how's this going? <laughs> oh, this is so boring. So sorry. Where's the benchmark thing again? Down here, benchmarks. I'm not even sure, maybe I even had um, maybe I even had the halogen repo on this machine already. Let's see. Do I have halogen? No. Uh, sorry, I meant slam data. I do. Oh, I could have just. Damn it. Could have just used that one. Well, anyway, anyway, it seems like we're finished. So now I can go into slam data and I can do Bowler install. That's going to download a bunch of stuff. Let me get tired. And now, why is it compiling everything again? What? How's this happening? Why are you doing this to me? Oh, that's a P. Oh, it looks like that's the profiling thingy. Oh my god. Wait. So I just cloned Slam Data, and now it's telling me that. What? Really? Well, that changes while I was pulling it down? Interesting. That's fun. Uh, but everything else is still fine. Okay, that's fun. Yeah, I'm gonna close that one. And now we're just waiting for the profiling build to finish. And hopefully by then we can we can actually do some profiling. Nope, should not look there. That's just gonna disturb me. There's three people watching. Holy crap. I'm being famous. All these statistics. Look at these graphs. Wow. Probably two of these are me, and then there's Soupy. <laughs> and now we've reached 30 minutes for a profiling build of the compiler. Great. Wow! Yeah, totally. Man, my fan base is huge. That's three people. Where two people of those are me. Oh, wait. So that's actually then me, Phil, and Soupy. Okay.
FM. We've even got a chat. How's that going? Okay. It's horrible. Oh, it's horrible. Separate. Oh, wait, I can just talk. You can hear me anyway. Uh, always warrants having a separate virtual machine where you do profiling builds so that you don't have to blow away the profiled libraries. Because if I understood that correctly, you cannot, well, like you can't keep the compiled, uh, the profiled binaries around, or like the profiled libraries around. So you have to rebuild them from scratch whenever you switch between um, profiled and non profiled builds. Yeah, maybe I should do something like that. Or maybe I read that wrong. Might be that... Yeah, well, yeah. I could put it in the global config.yaml and then it's just going to do that all the time. Apparently. But who would want that to be the default? It's taking forever. I don't think that's a good default to pick, can I? I hope we're not drifting from one another. Like I hope the stream is actually fluid. Uh, we're not drifting into delays like two or three minutes, because that makes it really hard to interact with you guys. Mm -hmm. Then I'd have to use the chat again. Come on, it's taking forever. This is the worst. And probably if I change things. Oh my god. I'm gonna need to change things in the compiler. Whatever. Okay, so whatever. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. That sucks. We did that. So benchmarks. Now let's try to run the bench script. Okay, so we're in here. Gonna make sure that works out. And now we're compiling this stuff. Compiling a bunch of stuff. <laughs> so that was a clean build. There were no uh, no incremental stuff involved there. That might be another interesting thing to look at if the incremental builds have different cost centers than the full rebuild. But this is some pretty hefty compile time, I've got to say. And I think that's just... I think that's just PCID, yeah, which isn't really that big in terms of dependency graph. Maybe the profiled binaries are slower, though. That might be an issue. We'll see. Okay, so does it put the thingy in here now? Does it put that in PSCID? Is there a prof file in here now? Yeah, there's a prof file. So let's look at that thing. Let's actually do that. It's a remix. So, what does that thing tell us? Oh, it's large. 24, 21.4 megabytes. Really open, yeah, sure. Give me that thing. It's a large file. Open literally. Yeah. Okay. 
cost center, bind inside supply apparently. There's logger. Names. That seems to be pretty widely spread. Okay. Cars. So there's a bunch of cost centers around supply apparently. Like, why is return taking forever in such supply? But... Okay, so how does that work? Total allocation is... How many bytes is that? That's 400 kilobytes, 200 megabytes, 26 gigabytes, is that true? Did we allocate 26 gigabytes? Am I seeing that right? That's 9 kilobytes. 8 megabytes. 6 gigabytes. Yeah, that's 26 gigabytes. Sounds like a lot to me. Okay, so... Are we seeing any... Okay, so you said there were some... Yeah, so the lecture takes a bunch of space, apparently. It's 10% of all our allocations. So you said there might be a space leak somewhere around here. There might be something around here as well, because that's a bunch. And I really want to look at that supply thing now, so let's look at that thing. Supply. Tell me what is so... Oh yeah, finally I get to build some Haskell code. Oh god. Even more compiling. Whatever. Now you can look. I don't see any of that. Okay. So let's see. What can we do? What does this say? What does this say? Run logger. Seems to. Holy crap. I've run a lot, apparently. Well. Maybe not. Parse module from files. Okay. So it looks like what that is saying. I'm just gonna move that over here so we can look at that. Okay, so that looks a little easier on the eyes. Okay, so parse modules from files is 19% of something inherited, whatever that is. Okay. Declarations, run token parser, and inside run token parser. Where's all that going? Parse module. Yeah, sure. That seems to be pretty evenly spread out across all these tokens. Unless there's one that is not zero. Can we find one that's not zero? Looks like these are all spread out fairly thin. There we go. Oh wait, same. Same and check in notation, so that Okay, so notation seems to take some. Whatever. Uh, I want to see the supply thingy that I opened up. Okay, here we go. So what's the problem here? My supply, that's just stayed. That shouldn't be a problem. I don't see any problem with that. Maybe I don't get it. Uh, is there any more info on the Haskell profiling? Uh, profiling and optimization.
for that. Sounding anything useful. No idea what's going on there. I don't give a damn. Okay. You want to see this thing? You want to see that file? Oh yeah, sure. Uh, I think I've got Dropbox in here, so I can just do that, I think. So let's make just copy that dot prof file into I think how Dropbox or something. Just gonna put that in there. And once it's finished uploading, I'm gonna give you the link. Um, yeah, okay, so I wanted to yeah, I wanted to benchmark a few other things. Why not? Let's let's try benchmarking more. Um, let's just look at these other things, I think. Right, so let's do these as well. Um, just gonna do bash bench. Oh, wait, bash bench. There we go. And while that's running, I'm gonna give you the link. I don't care. Um, just gonna put that in here though. There you go. I think that, yeah, that's that. Oh, interesting. Now I'm gonna get another, um, I'm gonna get the profiling for, um, Well, PSAID's profiling build this time will be fully incremental, like, it shouldn't have to recompile anything. So let's see where the cost centers are in that case. That's actually quite interesting. I think. And maybe I should try to compile a few things that got bug reports because of slow speed. In their um, performance, maybe. Let's just look for performance things. Oh, yeah, that was a question. Uh, that was about making the compiled code faster. Uh, that was a little unfortunate. How can we get... Yeah, that one was kind of sad. Oh, maybe that's the problem though. Maybe the problem is that it is... single-threaded right now? Might be. Maybe that's making it slower than it used to, than it used to be. It's multiplayed. Mega, the thing for mega parsec. I'd be using trifecta though instead. Huh. Okay. Hopefully, I didn't impact anything by tabbing out. But we're running at 43% memory and 72%. It looks like we're just using one of the four cores that I gave this machine. I think, yeah, that's pretty stable, 25%.
Did that work, by the way? You got the right one, right? The profile file was the thing you wanted? I mean, I could set this up on a server, I think, but I'm not sure how big that machine needs to be in order for this to be representable, like representative of the real compiler. Not sure. How does that work, by the way? Can I do CI benchmarks or something? CI benchmark. Uh, has to be. Let's just look at that. Sure. Sure, sure, sure. Sure. No, I didn't want that. Let's go for all benchmark tool. No, I want to see how to do that in Travis or maybe. Travis. Benchmarks. Hmm. Go take a look at this thing. So I'll do some git sub module stuff I suppose and a few more scripts that set this thing up. Right. Right, right, right. So yeah, compiling halogen takes a while. It's not even halogen is slam data right now, I think that's why it's taking so long. I think halogen is quite a lot faster. But we can see that in a second once this thing is finished. <laughs> oh my, I got a comment. Howdy. Howdy moly. How can I look at that? No. How does that work? Can I look at that? Can I click on that thing? How does that work? Why can't I see my comment? Okay, it looks like it's doing well, at least for stream quality, that is. Maybe I can look at that thing now. Apparently I got a comment after all. No, that, I didn't want that. Oh, come on. How does that work? My... No, stop. 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 Show me more. There's no comments here. Or oh, maybe the comment was my own thing. Oh, that would be dumb. Hello. Ow, I got another visitor. Wow. So now does it show me? Was that the comment? Let's see the second I suppose. Damn! Doesn't even build. That's not good. Why does slam data not build? Do I really need to do npm install or something? For this to work? Well, I mean, there still is a profiling thingy, so... And a compiler bunch of stuff, so that should be working. 
I think. Oh, okay, so apparently the one extra viewer was just me for a second time. Interesting. Mm. Okay, so how about we look at that other profiling file? Undo. So let's look at that file. Around 30 megabytes, and we're seeing the same thing. Equality inside pure scoop names has taken up a fifth of the compile time. I think that sounds like quite a lot, and parse token again is taken most of the allocations. Okay, so let's really look inside language at pure scoop names now, because that seems silly. Pure script names. doing this thing again. Come on. And just build it yourself then. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, so it looks like that's actually just a chat. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. But I think YouTube is better than life coding to in the sense that at least the video gets saved in a place where it's easily accessible. Yay, we got another viewer. Awesome. Hello, mysterious other viewer. So, I want to find if there's any nub in here. No. There is not. So where's equality? This seems to be a problem. The drop while. module name from strings that called so many times, is that the problem? How would I know? Seems like there's a bunch of these at least. But how would I make that faster? Maybe not. Maybe I wouldn't make that faster. What about these? Hmm. Profiling uh, in slam data. Okay, so let's try to find out. Let's look if we can find that. So let's look if we can find module name from string here. Module search search. Does that work? Come on. Module name from string. That don't work from string. Okay, fuck you, that doesn't seem to work particularly well. Module name from string. Doesn't appear at all in here. Okay. So which were the other ones? Um, that had equality going on. Disqualify for. Maybe we can find that. This Qualify for. Here we go. Okay. Oh, no. Disqualify for. Okay, at least now we're inside names down here somewhere. So, what's that? Do we have anything? That thing looks big. That thing looks pretty big. So D sugar imports apparently takes a bunch of stuff. A bunch of Yeah, so that seems big. Maybe I can add line numbers. Okay, never mind. Line one hundred and forty five thousand. Okay, okay, okay. So how do we do that? How does that work? Okay, so let's look at that actually. Let's look at D sugar imports then. Um, D sugar imports. Because that seems to take a while. That's D sugar imports with env. That's that. Hmm. Huh. 
How do I find out? Can I put like, how does that work? I, I mean, there was this thing where I could manually add cost centers or something. I remember reading that. So let's go profiling. Then I need to check this thing out. So how does that work? Cost centers. Okay. Now how can I add one by one? So can do that. Okay. So let's do that. Um, and let's see if maybe this thing is the problem. Right, and then I can put in the name and I can say something like auto friend. Does that still work? Let's try this. Stack install dash dash profile. Please don't recompile everything. Interesting. Don't need that. What does that even mean? Fuck off. <laughs> we lost our mysterious viewer, apparently. Too sad. What time is it? Uh, actually, I'll be right back while this compiles. my bottle opener. It was right here. Hello, I'm back. Okay. So let's do this thing again. Try the bash bench thingy. See what we get. So PSCID just rushed through because it's fully incremental. Oh wait, that doesn't work. We need to remove everything inside halogen. Oh no, wait, not halogen, but slam data output. We need to remove that and we also need to remove it. that for halogen. Okay, let's do that again. Okay. Oh no, that don't work. 
No, that don't work. Uh, well, I'm gonna move that one over. Cheers. Okay. So let's look inside here again, and we should get a new cost and continuity for testing. So it looks like the old one. Uh, no idea which project we're building right now. Let's just see. That sounds like halogen for now. But it might turn out to be slam data after all. Let's look at bench. Okay, so for the second thing we actually built halogen, so yeah, that should be halogen right now. And I still don't see anything slender to specific, so probably we can look at the profiling file for halogen right when it starts the next thing. There you go. Um, how about building? Uh, this this is the command. to look inside halogen and then we want to look at the profiling thingy yep and that probably is still his names okay so let's look at hello oh no that was a mistake uh, let's search for hello friend there we go oh hello friend there we go um, we need this to be full screen, so we'll just move this one over. So, Hello Friends does actually have some costs associated with it. Absolutely. It has the same cost as rename and module tick, uh, which probably uh, stack builds dash profile. Yeah, sorry, sorry. Uh, stack install dash dash profile. Sorry. <clears throat> okay. So that one has a cost, no doubt. But let's look for more. We want to make sure that this does not. Um, yeah, we're not hitting anything that does not belong here. Every name and module takes up a bit of space. Everywhere with context and values, that's one of the traversals, but par u takes some space. There's not that much actually. Maybe there's one that takes a lot more than it's supposed to. That doesn't look too terrible. There's more over here. No costs there. Very low costs around here. That doesn't seem to bend. Well, I mean, I've no idea what I'm doing. I'm just looking at the numbers. Anything that looks big seems bad. <laughs> A few costs in there. Dang it. These look a little bad. Was that everywhere with context on values? F tick tick. Okay, so that's more traversal stuff. Uh -huh -huh. Not that I could really debug these at all. I don't think they are necessarily written in a bad way, so. Maybe traversals are just slow. You know, that seems uh, still not too bad. What's going on here? 
How much longer does this go on? I have no idea. When are we going to see... Hmm. Well, that's actually... No, I don't want to do that. Let's look for hello again. Right. And let's do something. I think I can do V I and then I can do as I indentation. Okay, so it goes down to here. Let's look at the line numbers. That's eighty five thousand, so that's nine thousand six hundred and seventy lines. How the fuck am I supposed to look through these? Is there like a proper watcher or um uh, how can I do that? Uh flame graph dot prof file or something? Flame graphs for GIC profile times. Okay, so let's try that one out. How does that work? What the fuck? Okay, that seems simple enough, I think. Hopefully. That's a Perl script though, which kind of sucks, but... Okay, so what do we do? I... What do I do? I clone this thing? And then I, and then I stack install it or something? That's so fucking old. THC Pro Flame Graph. Is that on stackage? <laughs> yes, if it's fucking huge. So... THC Pro Flame graph. Uh, yeah, let's look at let's look at stackage. Is that there? Snapshots, none of them. Stackage nightly. Let's look for prof. Uh, flame. No, there's no flame graph in here. Okay, anyway, cancel. I'm just gonna. Yeah, it doesn't seem like the knobs is the problem right now. Hello? You come with me. Um, I'll need to stop right here. Maybe I can continue a bit later, but. Yeah, I'll be right back, I suppose. Well, right back means probably around 10 to 15 minutes. <laughs>